um, for this uh, CC3, I noticed that one thing that for people that are nervous, something that you learn from C is to take a deep breath before she starts the speech. If you notice, this is the third time she's giving speech and she always do that. She will take a deep breath and she will ex exhale, then she starts the speech. And Z always have clear words. If you notice, she always use clear words. If the word comes with plural, then she will mention the S very clear. That's one thing I like about her speech. And whenever she's nervous, she didn't look nervous, but whenever, she, whenever she's nervous and she try to continue the next sentence she wants to say, she will pause for a while. I'm not sure if you have noticed, but uh, a few times I've noticed this is how she, she did it. And I like her body language and her gesture, like she said, lash out to the tea lady. Like she really made us feel like we are in the office and we are looking at someone trying to score the tea lady. So these are the body language that we all have hands, but we don't really use it whenever we give speech, especially me. I, I noticed that um, I really have to improve on that. And she's slow and steady, so she doesn't, you can't, you hardly can catch ah, uh, mm, and all those errors when listening to a speech. And one thing that I like about Z speech is that you always have the opening and you always tell us how many points you are going to share with us and the closing. And whenever you close your speech, you always give us, give us the best dessert to bring home. <laughs> and for this time, I have used what Zhu has told <laughs> us during the last speech. So everything here is used by Z, is practiced by Z. I feel that next time whenever I prepare my speech, I need to refer to this to see whether am I using these points in my speech or not so that we learn what we apply in our speech. So overall, I enjoy your speech Z and I look forward to your CC4. Thank you.